Well, welcome back to the show, my YouTube addictive junkies. Welcome to the house that never sleeps on another portion of the show. Look at me sweating, man. I'm pouring a sweat, breathing hard, and I haven't even started to work yet. Well, I still got this lingering bug, I guess. What are we doing today? Still got Simon Patrick Luthier up here. This is a continuation of the fret dressing series. Today we're going to cut little strips of sandpaper. We're going to cut 800 grit, 1000 grit, 1200 grit, 1500 grit, and 2000 grit. And uh, little strips of them about that long and then we're going to go down each fret with the 800, each fret with the 1000, each fret with the 1200, 1500, 2000. You get the idea. It's going to, it's going to be uh, some time. It's going to take a long time. So what I'm going to do is break this up into two days. Now I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to start on it today and do it till I get tired. Try to get at least half, halfway through and quit and uh, come back tomorrow and do the other half and polish, finish polishing the frets and then see the, the uh, board and all that and get ready to string up. Uh, because I don't have any energy, man. I feel pretty good. I still can't breathe and I uh, just uh, burn up if I do anything at all. I just I mean, freaking, I think that's where my weight loss is going to. I'm sweating it all away, sweating it all off. That makes sense, really. That probably is what's happening. Anyways, hold on. I'll bring you over here. We'll cut the paper up, get everything ready, and we'll start polishing these frets and make a mirror image out of them. So, uh, come closer. Come closer. Good to see you all, man. And ladies, I'm going to have to order more sandpaper, man. Sandpaper. Getting a wee bit low on it. I use a lot of this crap. Usually this, uh, what I'm about to show you here now, does not get showed. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to put you through the agony of cutting all these, but I'll just show you how I do it. And if you ever decide to do your frets. See, I just cut out, this is 800 grit. That's 800. 1,000. 1, you can see that maybe. Eagle brand waterproof abrasive paper, Kovax. Now, one little note here I might offer is don't cut it any wider than that. This way. This way. Because this will go right over the fret and it won't, uh, you know, scar up. You just don't need it any wider than that. <laughs> okay? Right there's 800, there's 1,000, here's 1,200. You get the idea. All right give you an idea how long this is going to take see I'm just going to start with the 800 grit fold the paper over here I like to use these fretboard protectors oh and the reason I was talking about only cutting them that wide if you don't cut them any wider than this is and you see you don't have to worry about scuffing up the fretboard with this paper because this paper is very light uh, you know it's not going to it's not going to scuff the fretboard up very much if it does hit it. And you're not going to be taking off enough material to even have to worry about changing the level of the frets that we work so hard to get. Because it's not, you're not removing enough material really to do anything like that. You're just polishing out the the uh, file marks out of the frets. Make sure you cover every fret, the entire fret. You never want to skip sandpapers, uh, grits, or you be you might get called something horrible like a grip skipper. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Now when I first start to polish, I can hear sandpaper bite in and then it starts to get smooth. And when it gets smooth, well you can see it, but you can hear it too and you know that you're where you want to be. So you keep folding the paper, keep a clean spot on the paper each time on each fret. Don't keep using the same place on the paper. This is taking a little bit more. That's okay. It'll be okay. It'll all be good. 
in the end. And I think you can see how long, what a long, slow, painstaking process this can turn out to be. <laughs> now I know you can use rubber bands and wrap around those and hold them on there. That just, uh, to me, that just takes up more time, man. More valuable time. And my time is valuable. I mean, whose is not? You know what I mean? Everybody's time is valuable, right? You don't want to take any shortcuts doing this. To get that mirrored image. That last D15 that I had in here. It belonged to uh, Devin. I think that was his name. I'm not very good with names. There's just so many of y'all, man. It's so hard to remember everything. You know what I mean? Anyway, the last D15 I had in here, I did the frets on it. And he was pretty well shocked, I think. Said they look like brand new frets. Well, they are. They're like brand new frets. When you get a house that never sleeps set up on your guitar, if you get the big one that includes leveling and dressing all the frets like this, polishing them all, you will think that the frets are brand new in that guitar when you get it back. All right, you're going to fold this different. Let's try that. Remember to keep changing your, uh, keep changing your sandpaper. Move it around. Don't sand in the same spot all of the time. You don't get very good results that way. Sandpaper wears out pretty quick, actually. It's like the sandpaper does. And you can tell when it does. Oh, you can see it. You don't have any other place to rub. It's all every place on the paper. I'm going to have to cut a new piece of this. It's pretty quick here. I'm going to do half of this tonight. And then I'll come back here tomorrow. And we'll tackle the other half. I just don't have... Don't have the uh, energy, man, to do it. To do it all right now. There's no way. Ain't no way right now. Hear how that bites in when you first start? Look at this. Look at me. Sweat dripping off me, man, already. I'm out of breath already. Wow. That's some killer. That is one killer strain of flu, man. And if you get pneumonia on top of it, <laughs> I pity you, my friend. I've done been there and done that. I don't want any more of that. I do not want any more of that. Wow. Okay, I might get one more here before I have to cut a new piece of paper. I gotta remember to order more sandpaper. This type of paper. I think I ordered this from Stumac. It seems like good paper. You know about anything I get from those guys is good. The tools are good, high quality tools. Uh, you pay for them though. They should be high quality. The guys we love to hate. But yeah, they do produce some good stuff. Yeah, I gotta go cut it up. I know, get one more. One more right there on the end. I don't know if the camera's picking up that paper and how good it bites in when I first start. And as the fret gets sanded down and the sandpaper wears out, it doesn't sound the same. Yeah, like I say, don't ever skip grits. Don't do it, man. It's not worth it. You'll screw up your beautiful fret job. It won't come out like you had intended. Okay, I'm going to cut another piece of this. But you can see, i got to rest too, man. I mean, just soaking wet already. Dripping off my nose and off my chin. Out of my beard. <laughs> Uh, you can see how long this takes. We got to finish. Then we got to go over it with a thousand grit, 1200, 15, and 2000. Every fret. It's going to take a long time. We're not doing it all tonight. I'll come back tomorrow and do the other half. Hold on. Got to cut more paper. Be right back. Well, I didn't take a very long break, but I want to get as much of this done as I can. See that? How it bites in? And then it gets smooth sounding. I 
and I can see it's doing a job because that thin line of blue that we talked about in the last video on this guitar I can see it disappearing so I know when it's time to move on to the next grit how y'all doing man hope everyone's doing fine hope everything's going according to plan and in your favors I got a little bit on the end here I guess you all know about my mom she wow what a battle this has been those of you that follow me on Facebook know about it she was sick all summer last summer she couldn't eat she lost down to like 89 pounds her weight normally is around 135 140 max but she lost down to 89 pounds last summer couldn't eat and she got dementia really bad of course that comes and goes and she just fought all summer long last summer was in and out of the hospital in and out of nursing homes finally we had to admit her in a nursing home because she got so violent because of the dementia I mean, I'm out of breath again and then yesterday not yesterday from the time you guys see this video today's uh what is today oh god i don't know what day it is today's sunday yesterday saturday she fell she's been falling a lot i kept telling the nursing home man y'all need to give her a walker or let me bring her one or something anyways yesterday she fell again and broke her femur it's the largest bone in the body. It's the one just above your knee. So they took her to the local hospital. Didn't have an orthopedic surgeon there. Had to send her about 100 miles away to CAMC Hospital in Charleston. And they operated. That was yesterday, last night. They operated on her today. And the surgeon told me because of the the way it broke they had to do a hip replacement surgery so that's what they did they went in there and replaced the whole hip and uh, what they do is just cut that bone off cut your hip ball off and uh, you get a new ball installed anyways they, they did that and she's she did the sur surgery okay that was uh, this morning. Called about her just a while ago. And uh, said she was really doing good. She wakes up. She's alert. And we're going to start her, try to start her on some very tame therapy tomorrow. Said the sooner she starts on therapy, the better. Lower the risk of her catching, developing pneumonia. She's 88 years old, so you know, you don't want any pneumonia happening. Especially at that age. But wow, man, it's just been an ongoing thing. And then I got to get this funky, strange strain of flu right in the middle of it all. I can't go visit her. Well, I probably could now, but you know, if there's any of this left in me, I don't want to take that to her. So I've been staying away, talking to her on the phone. Life has sure got its its surprises, doesn't it? Uh, I'm gonna have to go cut another piece of this. I might get one more, maybe two out of this. Get all that bites in. Can you hear that? And it gets smoother as you go. See there, it just got smoother. And when it gets smoother. Two things tell me to move on to the next fret. The blue is gone for one. That fine, uh, fine minute line of blue left on the top of the crown is gone. And that smooth sound that I hear is not biting in anymore. You hear that? It's time to move on to the next fret. Wow, I don't know if you've seen that sweat grip on my arm or not. Off my head, off my nose, <laughs> my chin. This has been a one fret job that I can say really kicked my ass. But it's getting done. 
I don't know, man. I've got one, two, three, four, four more frets. I might be able to. Yeah, I see a little couple places on there. I might be able to squeeze through this. Clean the fret paper off a little bit. There's a drop of sweat on the guitar. We can't have that. Wow. No, sir. I don't know if you're seeing the sweat or not, but it's here. <laughs> big time in a big way. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a couple spots there. I can fold the paper and get. No energy. That's why this is why I'm only doing half of this tonight, and I'll do the other half of it tomorrow or tomorrow night. Because this just takes forever, man. Usually I love it. I don't mind the time at all. Because I really am proud of the end result when you take your time. I see guys using Dremel tools. And, you know, there's, for me, there's no satisfaction in that. You put the sweat into it, put the, the manpower into it, and when you're finished, those frets are so nice. And you got something you can feel proud about, you know? Dremel tools, if they generate heat for one thing, I don't like the thoughts of that. Not that much heat, really, but maybe generate some at a high RPM. I'd like to say I'm going to take a break right now because I am totally out of breath. We only have two more frets to go here. And I'm going to go them. <laughs> I'm going to pass out first. Hear that biting in? Definitely going to have to take a break after this before I move on to the next grid. But uh, the reason I'm showing you this, just letting the camera run, is to show you in real time just how long this takes, man. You, if you're in a hurry to do this, <laughs> you don't even want to start. You don't even want to start. If you want to get it done fast, I mean, I love doing it. You know, that's why I do it. So I do it the old-fashioned way, the slow way, because the end result, as you will see, makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, just barely going to get it, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it. There's just enough room on the end, the very tip of that, to do this. Yeah. Usually I have to go back and cut three pieces of paper. These frets seem kind of soft on this guitar. There's another drop of sweat. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Or even care. <laughs> and there you go. There's the 800 grit done. I'm going to cool off. And when the sweat quits dripping off my nose. And uh, off the rest of me. Check that out man. Soak and wet with sweat. Take a break here. And uh, we'll go with the 1000 grit next. Then 1,200, then 15, then 2,000. Good Lord. Holy shit. All right, this is after two passes. I did the uh, the 800 grit and the 1,000 grit. And you can still see we have a lot of scratches there yet. Still pretty rough. But yeah, you can see them in there. We got three more grits to go, though. And they will start to beautify. <laughs> I just want to show you that after two passes, what it looked like. They're looking pretty good. Uh, kind of rough yet, ways to go, but there you have two passes, what it looks like with two passes. Check that out, man. Get the better with every pass. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, Everything that you, that you have watched on this video up until right now was made yesterday. Or I did all that work yesterday. Today we're going to pick back up off, uh, pick back up off, and uh, let's see. We polished with the 800 grit. We polished with the uh, 1000 grit, the 1200, and I think we got 1500 and 2000 grit left here yet to go through all these frets so I'll bring you over for a little bit of that talk a little bit tell you about some things as we go along <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put mirror image frets on this guitar tonight today this morning whenever you you definitely gonna get your hands dirty folks if you do a job like this 
this job anyways. Alright, went through all the grits of sandpaper now. I'm just going to take a rag. This rag doesn't have anything on it. Wipe away any remnants of dust. Fret dust. Metallic dust, if you will. We're we'll starting on that Taylor guitar. In fact, I'm going to be doing a first inspection video on that guitar real soon. Y'all want to stay tuned for that. That guitar's got a real unique problem, man. I think you'll want to hear about it. You guys will. It's driving the owner crazy. He said it was just driving him mad. <laughs> I haven't even I've got sick, man, after it got here right when it arrived. And I hadn't even got to... I did the unboxing. but haven't even inspected it or looked at it yet. We are trying to try to get the, the same problem that he's having. Alright, y'all familiar with this stuff? I'm sure. The best stuff they ever made, man. Miracle salve. That's what I call it. We're just going to dab a little on each fret as we go here. I've got enough on there for a whole bunch of frets. It's okay if you get this stuff on the fretboard, too. In fact, sometimes I use it to clean the fretboard with. I just uh, rub it right into the wood, man. Is that the seventh fret? I think. So you just rub on him for a while. Both sides. You want to kind of rub, you know, the sides of the frets too when you do this. It doesn't matter if I just use the same spot on the on the rag because we're putting the stuff on it right now, so it's okay. But I'm. Move it around a little bit, I guess. Wow, what's hot here today? Yeah. People been wanting me to make more videos. Can I make more videos? Wow, man, I don't know. <laughs> God, it, it, you wouldn't believe the time that I put into making videos. I hope you can see. Never thought to look at that. It's very time consuming making videos is. I love doing it, sharing what I know with you guys. But it really slows the work down. Like I say, I've got uh, probably 10 guitars in here right now. Besides the ones here that I'm working on showing you all for repair. And I'm not probably not going to film very many of those because I need to get, I got behind when I was sick. So I need to get on them, get them fixed and get them out of here as quickly as possible. I don't know, I might film one of them. Put that on the fret. Now we'll start wiping it off. We're going to say the seventh fret, wasn't it? I might even put another coat of this stuff on, I don't know yet. Wow, look at that. Wait until you see it, man. to my mom's doctor a little while ago and she's still in the hospital had to give her a, a unit of blood he said that was normal after any kind of surgery it was a normal thing and she's doing better she's pretty confused tonight you know dementia you get that you stay confused I guess well you don't stay confused but you get pretty confused sometimes. Her down there in a new place. She's been in that hospital before, but it's been a few years. It's been a lot of years, actually. And uh, pretty confused on where she is. She knew her, where she lived. She knew her full name and address and her age. Yeah, it's doing better, but... Long ways from home yet. Literally, she's a long ways from here right now. I might put another coat of this on there. I've done that before. It seems to really bring the best out of the frets. This stuff's got a very light abrasive compound in it. I showed you all before. You can use it to remove scratches from your guitar finish. i got videos on it. You can search the channel if you're not 
if you haven't seen those, just go to my front page, channel page. There's a little search icon there. Click that. And search for uh, moving, removing scratches from guitar finish, I guess, would bring them up. I got the windows open so you all going to hear everything. <laughs> I'm letting it all hang out with you. Nothing to hide here. All right, what, what's that? That Fred. Okay, this one. Now I'm rubbing the uh, stuff off. Yeah, this stuff, uh, semi-chrome polish, has got a very light abrasive compound in it. And you can use it for all kinds of stuff, man. It's amazing how it takes scratches out of guitar finish. I've used it for years like that. All right, we're starting with, what is the 13th fret now? Yeah. More miracle sad. Anyways, I'll bring you back. I'm going to shut the camera off. All right, the moment of truth. Now, you're going to see a lot of reflections in these. I get them so shiny. I see so many reflections now, it looks like scratches. But there's no scratches in the house that never sleeps set up. Maybe I can, I don't know if I can show you or not. They're just so shiny, man, there's no way to get check that out there's all kind of reflections in there everything is reflecting it's just like a mirror I mean you know I gotta say this is the hardest fret job I've did in a while <laughs> I mean with this uh, being sick like this and stuff they're all in uniform they're all flat and level radiused yeah, there's what I'm talking about see there's that looks like scratches right there, but I can make them move <laughs> by moving the camera. Just gorgeous frets, man. Check it out. Wow. Get over here, maybe give you a shot. See what I mean? You can't show, it's hard to show something like this. Anyways, there it is. House that never sleeps fret job. <laughs> now we're going to put a setup on it next. Put the nut back in, check nut action. I'm not going to glue it in, set it in there. Put strings on, check nut action, string action. I took the saddle out. Uh, I'm going to find out if he wants to use that same saddle or not. It's bone, I think. But uh, he might want to go to something else. We'll find out. Anyways, I'm going to save lens seeding until the next video because uh, probably lens seed the board the same time I put the, the uh, strap button in or glue those cracks back there to heal. That I was showing you. Cause I just ain't got it in me tonight to do it, man. I know it's easy, I know, but I don't have any energy left to hold on. Wow. Never worked so hard on a fret dressing before. I hope this video wasn't too awfully long and boring. Uh, I have no idea how long the video is. When you make a video, and you know, over a couple of days, like I did this one, you kind of lose track of where you are and what's going on. And, well, not what's going on, but... You know, you, you lose track of how long the video might be and what you said before. You're probably going to repeat again. Anyways, the frets is done. The next video on this guitar probably will lend see the board. Maybe I'll just do that off video and uh, put the strap button in. If you want to see that, just say so and I'll make a video. If you lend see the board, put the strap button in. Maybe even setting it up too. If not, I might go ahead and do those two things and the next video will set it up. And uh, do a setup on it. A house that never sleeps set up. There's none like it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for keeping it here through all the sickness and madness and uh, filth and you know, disease and germs. <laughs> no, I appreciate you guys hanging around. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Woo! The Boogity Ball.